Hey, hey, my friends, I'm here again for another video for you. I'm actually going to be filming a very, very requested how to print and cut and foil your own stickers. Now, I do have everything that I need um, getting ready to go. I've got my printers, both my inkjet and my laser printer, my computer, my silhouette, and I do have my laminator um, warming up um, across the room. Now, I do not use a mink. I do not have a mink. I'm not against a mink. I probably love one, uh, but I don't own one. And so I use a laminator that I have. I will show you the laminator that I use. It's very affordable. I actually purchased it on Amazon. Um, and the sticker paper that I use is also from Amazon. I have it linked down below in my Amazon shop, as are my printers and my laminator. So everything I use today, I think I have a silhouette in there as well. Everything I use except for my laptop, I have linked in my Amazon uh, store. So anything that you need, it'll be in there for you. So let's go ahead and get into this. I can't guarantee the entire video isn't going to be a voiceover. There might be some parts that are voiceover, but hang in there with me and let's try to get through this. And hopefully this video is helpful for you. Okay, so I wanna start by talking about my printers that I use. Uh, these are the two printers that I use. Both are Brother. I have gone over my printers several times, so I'm just gonna kind of brush over this, but the key when you are printing foiled stickers is that you have to print the colored section with a color printer, an inkjet color printer, which this is. This is a Brother MFCJ95DW. Uh, and like I said, I have it linked in my Amazon shop, which is down in the description bar. And then the one up above it is a Brother laser printer. Um, this one was cheap. It only prints black. And it is, I think I bought it for like $98. Um, it was very affordable. This one was also affordable. I did get this at Best Buy. But you can get it on Amazon. So these are the two I use. Not trying to say they're better than any other printer, but those are the printers that I use um, every single time. And I use printable kits for probably 85 to 90% of my sticker usage. Um, so that is, those are the printers. And like I said, they're nothing fancy, but you're going to print color on this one. And anything you want foiled, you're going to print with your laser printer. You do not want to print anything you don't want foiled with a laser printer. That is the key. Anything foiled. Um, or anything printed with a laser printer, the foil will stick to. So this is what you print your color first, and then your black uh, with the laser printer after to have it foiled. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so filming my computer is kind of difficult, but this is an HP laptop, nothing fancy, and I'm using the Silhouette program, um, and this is the version 3. I have not done the new update yet, but these are bow checklists, which I don't know if it's going to zoom, if it's going to be able to show you, but those are bow checklists that I print or that I purchased from Sincerely D Designs. I have been using them every single week, and so I'm going to print and foil these. I'm going to be cutting them with my silhouette, which is right here. I just have a portrait. Nothing fancy is required um, to do printable sticker kits. Everything is printed on a um, on a, a eight and a half by eleven sheet, so a portrait is perfectly fine. Now, this I'm going to print to my laser printer because I want this to be foiled. If I was going to print color on it first, I'd print it to the inkjet first, but I'm not, so I need it to print directly to my laser printer, which I'm going to send this to now. Okay, so I just went ahead and sent it to the laser printer, so it should come out here any second. Um, I did make sure that I put in my sticker paper and I put it face down because that's what's needed for this laser printer. If you do get a different one, make sure you pay attention to how it needs to be um, put in. You'll hear it heat up because this uses a, a toner, like a powder. And then it'll come out and it does kind of curl the paper because it's so hot but you'll see it just has the black and white printed um, here on this paper but this is all done with the laser printer so everything on here will foil if I want it to okay now I'll show you how you print in color and then add the foil to it okay I want to go ahead and cut this before I uh, 
foil it. You want to cut first. Um, and I, I don't know if that's exactly the way to do it, but that's the way that I do it. I don't know if anybody else would say to foil first, but I don't want to run the risk of anything getting scratched once I foil it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this first. Now with this sticker paper that I use, um, and if you choose to use a different sticker paper, then that's totally up to you. Um, but what I do is I always do my actual sticker cut line to be the white sticker paper um, and I put my I leave the speed alone but I put my force down to a six and then I um, I do a double cut just to make sure that it's really good so I do the two passes and then for like the cut to cut it out I do cardstock you can either do cardstock regular I do cardstock glitter just because I want it like really really smooth and it doesn't need two passes it only needs one and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug make sure that my silhouette is plugged into my computer and we're gonna go ahead and send this to the silhouette make sure it's got enough light so that it reads everything okay oh wait a second okay that was a really good like oops See here that the purple is before the red. We don't want that. <laughs> we want the red first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fix my paper really quickly. Okay, my friends. One thing I noticed was that we didn't have our registration marks on that paper. So I needed to add them in silhouette. So if you don't know how to do that right here where it says page setup, um, you just go ahead and add your... Um, your registration marks. I'm. This is not a silhouette tutorial, so I'm not going to really go into that, but you need to have these in order for this to register and to print. So now we have to load it and cut it. Okay, now if you're using the sticker paper that I have listed in my uh, Amazon shop, this is. these are the cut uh, uh, guidelines that I use. I use sticker paper white for the stickers that I want to cut, and I leave my speed at 8, I put my force at 6, and then I put my passes at 2. I want it to double cut. And then for actually cutting out the sticker page, I put it at cardstock glitter, and I um, do one pass. Normally it does two passes, but I put it down to one. And the other thing I want to point out right here is that it has my red, which is my actual stickers, cutting second instead of first. Um, and I want my stickers cutting first because this will cut it out and it may not stay on the sticker paper very well. So I just want to move it by picking, I clicked it and then I drag, I drag it up and that makes the red lines cut first. Um, and now I just have to make sure this is the cord to my laser printer. We're going to unplug that and we're going to plug in the silhouette. And then we're going to go ahead and click send and it will send it to the silhouette hopefully it will register the first time which it didn't so I have to adjust my mat and then try again so I can't do that holding the camera so let me try to adjust that we'll be right back this is real life friends okay I think it's actually registering this time so now it's going to register the entire page hopefully and then it's going to start by cutting out all of the little uh, checklist and it's going to double cut them. So cut lines on there. So it's running a second pass. It's going to cut all of those out and then once it's done I'll have four sheets of bows that I will then foil. So stay tuned. Okay, literally 100 years later, it is now finally cutting out the outside of the sticker sheet. But when I say it probably took 15 minutes to cut this one sheet, that's not even an exaggeration. Um, so if you're upset that I <laughs> kind of cut through that, I really am sorry. But there was no way I was going to sit here holding this camera for 15 minutes. So once that's done, then we can go ahead and foil it. But I'm going to print and cut another kit before we start our foiling. 
Okay, so here are my four sheets of bow checklist done, cut, ready to be foiled. We're gonna do those in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and print um, a kit that I purchased from Print Petticoat Bandit. I do have a coupon code for her shop down below. She's one of my favorite printable shops when it comes to foiling stickers. This kit is called Winter Celebration. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by printing this. Um, to my inkjet printer. Now, when you purchase her kits, you will see that she's got um, ones that say inkjet and then ones that say laser. And that's how it's it's supposed to help. And she does have instructions, I believe. I, I don't even look anymore because I've done it so many times, but go ahead and print to your inkjet printer. Uh, I make sure I print on inkjet paper, which just means it's a little bit thicker. Um, that way it just really makes sure that it prints really clear and because the paper is a thick sticker paper, I just wanna make sure that there's a lot of saturation. So that's gonna go ahead and print to my brother inkjet printer right now. Sometimes it takes a minute, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and print all of the pages on inkjet first and uh, then we'll put them in the laser printer to print the parts that are going to be foiled. Okay. My lighting is getting a little bit terrible because um, the sun is going down and I apologize. But I went ahead and printed the sheets that I was interested in. So the full, uh, the full boxes, this is the split washi, the date covers, and then this one here is the patterned ombre checklist and some glitter headers. There were three other sheets that I didn't print um, and that's okay. Now, one thing I wanted to show you that I do all the time because I always forget um, how to load my laser printer is I will practice. So I opened up the laser, um, the foil ready document, which looks like this. Okay. So you'll see it's got all this black. That's what you're going to be printing with your laser printer. That's what you're going to be foiling. Um, so I wasn't sure exactly how I'm supposed to put this in my printer. So I went ahead and wrote top front up here and I put it in my printer the way I thought it was supposed to go, which in my laser printer, it goes face down with the top of the page up here. Um, and then I did a practice print and it was correct. So now I'm ready to go ahead and put uh, whatever it is that I want foiled into the laser printer. Now I am not going to do heavy foiling. This does come with an option to scatter foil this, which I'm not going to do. I don't like that. Um, I am going to foil this page here, which has this right here, which is going to print on this. So I'll have a bow washi, a scattered foil washi, um, foiled bow checklist if I want, and then foiled sidebar stickers, date dots, date covers, and then some sidebar um, headers. Now, when I print this, it doesn't mean that I have to foil everything. I'm not going to. I don't need all of that foiled, um, but I am interested in foiling the washi and then the um, possibly the weekly boxes and definitely the date covers. So let me go ahead and stick this in the printer and we will print this with the laser printer. As I just mentioned with my printer, I'm going to put it in this way. So this is the top of the sheet. Okay, face down all the way in. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to print to my laser printer. So file, print. Now, here's where I do something a little bit different. I go right here to preferences and where it says um, media type, it, it usually has it on plain paper, but I put it on thicker paper just because this is um, sticker paper. I want it to be really saturated so that it picks up the foil pretty well. So now it's gonna send it on over to the laser printer and hopefully it prints okay. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, it printed correctly. So that's what it looks like now. So all the things you see in black will have foil should you choose to foil it. I'm not going to foil all of it, but I'll show you what I am going to foil. 
Now this sheet here, which has the glitter headers and the ombre checklist, this is what it would look like if I chose to print the foil sheet. I'm not going to. I don't need it because I'm going to have my bow checklist that I'm going to use and I don't want to foil the glitter headers. I just feel like that's a little overkill and I don't use those icons up top. So I'm not going to do any of that, but I am going to use this sheet because I want these labels and these um, glitter headers so I will use that sheet to cut now that this went through the laser printer you can see <laughs> that it's gonna foil it's gonna curl up there so um, I'm gonna stick it underneath my computer for a little bit while I cut these other pages with my silhouette real quickly well real quickly in theory okay again I'm gonna change my uh, cut guidelines here I'm gonna do my stickers which are the red lines in sticker paper white which I've already set to um, my six force and a double pass and then the cardstock glitter for the blue which is to cut the pages out. Now I'm going to send this to my silhouette which I must plug in and hopefully this bad boy gets going. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same cut settings that I did for the last one. And I'm going to send this on over to the silhouette and I'm going to wait a hundred years for this to go ahead and cut. And then we'll cut the following two pages and then we can go ahead and foil, which is the part that you're waiting for. But I know I've been asked to not skip any parts because you're curious. So I'm just trying to show you, this is a long, tedious process. Just want to show you how it all works. Just wanted to check in and let you know it's been three minutes and we're still cutting full boxes. Okay, it was legit like 10 minutes. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead, it was 11 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the next page, which is the page we're going to foil. just an update we're sitting at 10 minutes and we are doing our final outside cut but just wanted to let you know this is not a quick process so if you're in a hurry don't print and cut your own kits <laughs> okay so I am back it's been quite a few days since I began filming this um, foiling video because I was a, a, out of a lot of foil I pretty much just had this little bit left right here and I didn't want to try to show you how to foil with not enough foil um, so I was worried I was going to run out so I went ahead and purchased more this is iCraft deco foil which you probably cannot read because of <laughs> the fact that it's all foiled but I do have this listed in my uh, Amazon shop and it's really affordable. This little tube right here, which comes with five transfer sheets is $7. Um, sometimes you can get it for like five something, but um, I couldn't just sit and wait for it to go on sale because I needed it for this video. Sorry about my deep manly voice. It's early Saturday morning. Hoping to finish filming this so I can get it up for you today. Now I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be using my laminator uh, to foil. Now, if you are planning to foil stickers for resale or if you're planning to foil stickers to give away or you want like the best high quality foiling, I do not recommend that you use this machine, okay? Um, it's not going to give you like professional grade um, foiling I mean it might it doesn't for me and that's okay this is just for my personal planner I'm not selling anything I don't feel like it is necessary okay you don't have to use the foil that I use this is just the one that I get it's affordable it works for what I'm I'm doing I'm not foiling 
crazy amounts of things. Um, it does say for fabric and paper, you're looking for transfer foil. Okay, so you just have to make sure you don't get like vinyl or anything. And then um, what I do is, because I'm using a laminator and it doesn't come with a protective sheet, um, I use a piece of regular printer, eight and a half by 11 um, paper, and I fold it in half to make myself a little protective pocket. Um, and I put my paper in here with, uh, with the foil, okay, and that it gives it some protection. And that could be why uh, it doesn't do as well of a job uh, as well of a job as you know something else as as the other types. But like I said, for what I use it for, it works perfectly fine. So I have already pre-cut these. You already saw me do that. That's already done. So now I'm going to get a piece of foil. Looks like this. When the transfer sheets come out, you'll cut them down to size, okay, or not. I'm going to show you in a minute. But this piece is a leftover piece from another uh, foiling job. And I'm going to put my stickers in and then I'm going to put the foil down with this, the foil facing up, okay? So the foil is going to be right there on my stickers, okay? And I'm going to... to Fold it, okay, so it's in there in the little pocket. All right, and now I'm going to feed it into my laminator. Now this laminator, I'll also have it down in my Amazon shop. Um, this is an Amazon laminator, it's Amazon Basics. It was like 20 bucks, it's super affordable, not the best quality. Hopefully it works okay. Because I've had this thing for 100 years, things get kind of stuck, sometimes I have to pull them through, push them through, we'll see. Stay with me, it's old, and this is a real video, okay? Um, I put it on the five millimeter, which is like the hotter um, setting for the laminator, and I've had this thing on and, and heating up for about 20 minutes. Uh, it says it's ready, it's usually ready within a couple of minutes, but if I want it really hot, oh now it says it's not ready, but it, it is ready, it's just taking a second. But um, if I want it, to be very, very hot so that it will give me, you know, the best foiling job it possibly can, then I let it sit for quite some time, okay? Now you're going to feed your pocket, your paper pocket into the laminator with the folded side going in first. That's really important so that you don't, you know, lock up your, your laminating machine, okay? And here it goes. And you can do this with the Scotch laminator as well. I've, I've done it with the Scotch laminator as well. This is just the one I have right now. When I owned my uh, shop from my Etsy shop, when I was doing a lot of printing and cutting, laminating and cutting and all of that, which I miss terribly. I might, I might pick up some jobs here or there, but that's besides the point. Um, I used my laminator so much that I went through laminators probably every six to eight weeks. I'm going to put this in a second time. It's very hot, but I'm going to put it in one more time just to make sure that it's nice and hot and hopefully, you know, it's done its foiling job. And then I'm going to show you the fun part, which is peeling off the foil. Now, remember, this is a laminator. This is not meant to foil, okay? It is a heat, you know, object. It, it does do the job. So if you don't want to spend the money on a mink, which is where I was at, I already had the laminator. I didn't want to spend more money on another item. Then, you know, this, this should work okay. All right. So this is what it looks like afterward. Let's see if I can show you there. Okay. See that? All right, and it's you know pretty solid. It's you can tell by looking at the bows that it's you know it has really gotten on there. Okay, and now we're gonna peel it off ever so carefully. Just peel it off. Dun, 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 dun. So here's <laughs> your sheet, okay, with all your bows that are now missing. I always think that looks really cool. And here are your foiled bows. Now it looks like this for whatever reason right here didn't laminate or did not foil very well. It looks like a little piece right there. But other than that, it did a really nice job. Looks pretty good, I think. So there's our bows, right? 
and it did because this whole thing was printed um, with the laser printer then the the logo the shop logo sincerely D designs that did foil as well but if that part wasn't printed with um, if that part wasn't printed with the laser printer then that part wouldn't have foiled so that's how you would foil a sheet that is completely you know with the um, laser printer now let me show you how you would foil on a sheet that has color as well this is that kit that I showed you I print uh, printed from print petticoat bandit which I do have a coupon for her shop down below and these are the two pages that I am going to foil okay so one has our bottom washi and this one has like our date covers date dots and sidebar stickers okay so that's what we're gonna be foiling now so let's go ahead and open I'm always afraid I'm gonna break it now Oop, there we go hold on one second I'm gonna take a minute from my video and tell you what an amazing husband I have I haven't had breakfast yet he made me an egg and bacon sandwich got my ready eggs on there that I'm about to break through and eat that bad boy so I'm gonna take a second to eat that and I'll be right back I have a good man find you a good man okay so I went ahead and opened this and let's I'll take it out and show you what it looks like the way it comes so they're in sheets like this super long almost as long as the laminator okay and so what I do is I'll put the sheet like such and then I'll cut it because I obviously don't want to ruin perfectly good foil right <clears throat> by putting it through the laminator. Okay, so I have all that extra right there. Okay, put that to the side. Now, same thing that I did for the sheet that had all the bows, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this sheet here, okay? Even though it has color, the only, <coughs> excuse me, the only thing that's going to foil is what was printed with the, um, what's it called? Laser printer, okay? So again, I'm putting it, the sticker is, the sticker sheet is face up uh, on my little envelope. I put the foil on top of it and then I close the envelope, the little paper envelope that we've made, okay? And again, <clears throat> we're just going to feed it through the laminator and we'll just give it a minute and don't worry it's not going to affect the color okay it's just going to um, affect the parts that have been printed with the laser printer this process doesn't seem so tedious when you print and cut on one day and then laminate on another but when I am printing, cutting, and laminating in one day, it is, it seems like a forever process. While that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another sheet. What I could probably do, if I don't wanna use another sheet yet, I could probably, <clears throat> let's see. Uh oh, I hear Griffin crying, I apologize. Sounds like he's upset about something. <laughs> trying, to, trying to see if I could get away with, yeah. With just trimming this. Sorry, I'm doing two things at once because I am a multitasker. So I just trimmed that little long piece. Okay get to this one in a second let's first see how this one did I feel like I want to put it through one more time <clears throat> I'm gonna flip it 
and run it through the other direction. Sometimes they do that just so that the heat gets, I don't know, I'm assuming the heat is on both sides, like the top and the bottom of this laminator. I don't know, but sometimes just for good measure, I'll flip it over and run it through another way just to be sure. You never know. <clears throat> but for whatever reason, I feel like the lamination, I mean, sorry, the um, foiling doesn't work as well when you do it on top of color. It, with this this way anyway I can't speak for anything else but as you can see got the same thing we had with the bows and now I'm just gonna kind of smooth it down it's, it cools off pretty rapidly go ahead and slide off the foil so you have all of that and then you have <clears throat> your foiled sheet Yay. So if I'm looking at this, it does look like there are some dots that aren't like super foiled. I don't really like the confetti foil look, but that's what we have. So it looks pretty good. I do definitely like those bow checklists. Let's do this other page. <clears throat> so we'll set this. Now this one I'm kind of Got to be careful here because I've got um, the two sheets, but that's fine because I'm just making sure that I'm not, it's not cutting anything off. It's just right over color, like where that seam is right there between the two. It's not over something that needs to foil, so it's not going to mess with the, the look of the foil. And then let's run this bad boy through. But yeah, I think that came out pretty okay so and bam just like that you have a foiled kit right and <clears throat> there was the option to do like scattered foil confetti on the full boxes but I don't do that because I don't like it I think it just kind of takes away from the look of the full boxes and I don't like that it makes it look kind of messy I could foil these up here, um, the icons, because those were printed with the laser printer. I do have this little sheet here from another another one that I had cut, so we could do that. I think I might. Let's see if there's anything else. I could foil those. Maybe we will, because these could be foiled, but I don't know, I'm not gonna use them. I don't wanna foil this sheet because I'm not gonna use it. I was thinking maybe I would for the sake of this video, but I don't I don't wanna foil it if I'm not going to be using those, because I think I'm going to be using these, and so I don't, I don't wanna waste foil. You know what I'm saying? But this one, I've got this little strip that I could just do right there, so. We'll wait for this one to be done and then we'll foil that last part and we'll be done foiling this. done foiling that one did not foil very well I don't know if you can see that 
but there's definitely a lot of black under that foil. It did not foil very well. Either did this one. I don't know. Foiled fine, but. Uh, so there we go. There are our foiled sheets. Let me zoom you in a little. Okay, there's our foiled sheets for the kit. Like I said, there's more foiling that I could have done for this kit, but I don't want to waste any more foil. That's plenty of foil for me. I've also got my little bows here, which I can make as many as I want. I still have three others that I can foil. Okay, that was easy. One sheet makes you four little sheets of these bows, one sheet of sticker paper. I think that's actually really, really great uh, deal. So that is it for this print and cut and foil video. I hope that when I edit it all, it comes together. It was definitely a process, um, but I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and come back for more, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.